Submission and conviction. What what is that? This guy is just trying to make a rubber music like the Quran, which is funny and silly and saying nothing in the same time because what submission have to do with conviction? Because simply you idiot. Jesus is convicted of nothing for a very simple reason, for he is no sinner. So what submission and conviction have to do with Jesus? Your Quran in chapter 19, verse number 19 says that Jesus is holy. So how the one is described as holy in your Quran is going to be convicted of anything. You see the sayings of Muslims, if your God himself is saying that he is not only a, a, the, the holy son, he is a gift he is a gift which means lucky the one who will meet Jesus lucky the one who will know Jesus he, not everybody have that gift so he is a gift coming from what from heaven in the same time he is a message and the messenger watch my video number one and you will see so this is just they are trying to make a rabbi music which is funny and silly let us continue with more silly stuff Muslims come. We say Jesus was God and that God had descended. We say Jesus was. Oh, just wait, just wait. So God cannot be descended? I don't understand. Let us see if God can be descended or not. Because this is will be very, very funny if the Muslims don't believe in that. For their God, Allah, He descended many times. And actually, uh, the Quran mentioned that. And even Muhammad, He mentioned that in the Hadith. Let us read together and laugh. Read with me, Abdul, and laugh at your religion. Your God Muhammad, actually he is the real God of Islam, not Allah. Allah is just a lie he came with, the moon God. Hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari, book of, uh, uh, narrated by Abu Huraira, uh, hadith number 1081. He said that your God Allah, the superior, come every night down. Every night Allah come down. <laughs> so, do you have a problem with Allah descended? And the guys in here, you will notice something very important. We will explain with the coming uh, comment he made in the video and love together. Uh, but we will go back in here in a second. Man, for Jesus was dependent and that God had descended. We say Jesus was man, for Jesus was dependent. It was just uh, Jesus was a man, Jesus was dependent. Yes, he was. So what? You know, he is the one who do everything what nobody can do. He is the one, according to your Quran, there is a chapter in the Quran, the whole chapter is called the chapter of the table. Why that chapter called that like that? Because Jesus, he called, he, he, according to your, your uh, book, Jesus, he brought food from heaven. According to your prophet, it was f five loaf of uh, bread. Each one of them have a wheel inside, which is a fairy tale story. So, you see, he can feed thousands of people who do not need food. He can feed thousands. He can raise people from death. He can forgive sin. He can make the blind see. And that's what your Quran says. So yes, he is the one who said in your Quran, according to you Muslims, that I create for you from the mud a bird. I create for you. You see what he can do? Let us continue on love. Our God is all great and cannot be comprehended. Oh, just wait. Their God is a great, but he cannot be comprehended. But their prophet, he said the following. And let us laugh together again. This is your Quran. Sorry, this is your Hadith. Sahih al-Bukhari is a very accurate Hadith. And this is the book in the front of you. Book number 12, Hadith number 770. So your God cannot be comprehended, but you can see him. And not only that. Your God cannot be comprehended, but can he be comprehended inside shape? Let us see Allah changing his shape and going inside the shape. Read with me, guys, and laugh at this religion, who it's full of contradiction. Then Allah, the Lord of the world, that sounds like the Lord, the Lord of the ring. I watched this movie. I like it. Will come to them in a shape. Oh, so Allah cannot be comprehended, but still we can see him. Hmm? We can see him, as your prophet, he said here, right? They ask him, are we going to see our Lord in the day of resurrection? He said, yes, you will. And how we will see him? Look at this. He will come to us in a shape. He will come to us in a shape. Nearest to the pictures 
to the picture they had in their mind about him uh, what the what, what is that <laughs> actually in different hadith it says the following let us laugh together because this is a false translation the the correct hadith saying in a shape different from the one which they knew which they saw first time here we go let me show you the lies you see they could not even maintain the same translation twice because muslims are liars so Allah will come to them in a shape different. This is a different hadith, by the way. Here we go. This is book 76, hadith number 577 of Sahih al-Bukhari. All right. So Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one uh, uh, which they knew. The one they know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So Allah is coming to you in a shape different from the one which you Muslim know. What is the shape of Allah which you know? Any Muslim Abdul can tell us what is the shape of Allah which you know I will tell you the Quran is speaking about the shape of Allah it is the shin Allah will come in the shape of a leg but look in here Allah cannot be comprehended and he cannot be inside a man which means he cannot be Jesus but Allah can come to you in a shape which means Allah is playing with you hide and seek he changed his shape he came back and look what he will say to them Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know and will say, oh, oh, what Allah will say? I am your Lord. They will say, we seek refugee with Allah from you, which means the Muslims, they would think that Allah is shaitan. So how come you say to me that God cannot be comprehended, but Allah, he is comprehended inside a shape. Huh? I'm going with your logic. You see the Muslim logic. For us, we have no problem with God coming in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a look of a man, in a person of a man. Because God is the Almighty. The Almighty, why is called Almighty? Because He can do anything He wants. If He cannot come in the shape of a man, it means He cannot be God too. And here we see your God not only can be comprehended because our eyes can see Him, as you see the Hadith say that clearly, and your Prophet saying that, unless you want to say your Prophet is a liar. I agree with that. You know, they ask Him, are we going to see our Lord? He said, yes. Then He will come, Allah Himself will come in a shape and you Muslims, when you see Allah in that shape, you will kick his ass. You will say to him, get lost. You are not Allah. Not only that, you will insult him saying, we seek refugee from thee. Which means they are asking refugee. They are asking help from Allah against Allah. But you just told me that Allah cannot be comprehended and cannot. And the whole idea the Muslims are trying to make in this video that God cannot be a man. But as we see in here, Allah not only is coming as a man, he's coming as a leg. Actually, this is his real, his real uh, look as a leg. But in the top, when he come to them, he will come in different shape. In different shape. Huh? He will come, read with me, in a shape other than the one they know. And will say, so he will go, he changed his shape, Allah, maybe this time he will come as a chicken. We don't know. Maybe as a, uh, as a turkey, you know, I don't know. Maybe as a cow. Uh, we have no idea because Muslims, they don't accept him to be as a man. So he will come as what? Octopus? Anyway, Allah maybe have, he can't be octopus because he have one leg. Octopus have many legs. So we have to find a look for Allah now. So anyway, Allah is changing his shape. Like, you know what? If you, if, you, if you look at actually at this story, you will see that Muhammad is a stupid, silly person. What's the point of this story? Allah is changing his shape and coming to us and saying, I am your Lord. We say to him, get lost. You are not our Lord. We seek refugee against thee from thee. Now, how many, how many Allah the Muslims at that moment they, they worship? How many Allah there is? And this is a proof that you Muslims, you don't follow God. You follow a shape. Because here we go, Allah, he changed his shape, you don't, you refuse him, this is the same Allah. The first Allah in here is the same Allah in here. He just changed his shape. And you are refusing him and, you know, saying to him that you are shaitan. So you Muslim don't follow the God, you follow the shape. You are the same as a chicken, baby chicken, they're born. When they see a cat walking by, they think this is their mommy. They, they think they, they see a, a dog is walking by they think this is their mommy so you muslims you are not following god you are following a sheep and your prophet is saying that a story unless he's a liar and i have i hope you will agree that he's a liar because that will make him not a prophet no more 
So in here, what we will see that the God of Islam, which cannot be comprehended, as he said, because he is so great, but he is coming in a shape and Muslims are refusing that shape because this shape, it's mean it's a disrespect for God. This is this, this shape is not good for God. Otherwise, tell me why the Muslim refused the shape of Allah. What's wrong with that shape? He looked like ugly. Maybe he's ugly. Maybe he have a, a, a hairy leg. Maybe they, they thought that the leg was out here. So what the problem with the shape? So you Muslims refuse Allah based on a shape. And this is the same exactly what you did to Jesus. This is the same God. I'm not, I'm not saying, by the way, Allah and Jesus are the same. Don't take me wrong. We don't believe in Allah. Allah is nothing. It's a poopoo for me. This is the same God for you Muslims coming to you. You refuse him. So if Jesus come to you, the real God, come to you in a shape of a Jesus, came to you in a shape of a man, you will say, we seek refugee from thee. And this is exactly what Islam. It is the stupidity. It's full of contradiction. It have no meaning. The more you read, the more confused you will get unless you have the whole image. Because Islam simply is nothing. It's just, uh, 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 you know, uh, unlimited number of lies this guy Muhammad he keep talking and the much he talk the much he expose himself now let us continue with the video and see something very funny he said uh, uh, together you say that God was murdered or do you believe that he pretended oh, oh just what wait, wait wait do you say God was murdered what or he pretended what does that mean you know what pretended you idiot what pretended if you want to talk about pretending it's your god who did that not us for us we believe that jesus was crucified and that does not mean that god was killed let me tell you you idiot muslims jesus the man was killed god is always alive he never died the body of they killed the body of the man and actually you muslims you dummy muslims believe that when you go to the grave you will stay alive even in the grave your prophet he taught you about the punishment of the grave so now, are you going to be dead or you're alive? So if God cannot be alive because the man which he occupy his body is dead, this is not God no more. So God is always alive before God is our God is a spirit. You killed, even you Muslims, you believe that when you kill the man, the spirit is alive. So you see how silly you are. What pretended? The one who pretend death is your God. And let me show you in the Quran and love together. Chapter 4, verse 157, translation of Muslims, Yusuf Ali. Here we go. Now, who is the one who pretended that Jesus is dead? It is your God. Your God, because he's so weak, he could not save him unless he pretend. Look what this, he said. But they did not crucify him. Uh, 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 they crucify him not. But so it was made to appear to them. Who is the one who made that appear to them? It is Allah. How he did that? Allah, he made someone look like Jesus and he put him in the cross. So this is a pretending, sir. This is the one who believe in pretending. It's you Muslims, not us. We believe that God always is alive. The body of Jesus is not going to make God is dead. That is the body of the man. So Jesus, the man, he died, but God in that man never die. And it's just to, to, to make my... Uh, 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 my word uh, very uh, very clear you know the Muslims they believe that Jesus is alive now in heaven okay Muslims Jesus he went to heaven with his body or he is there as a spirit if you say he is there as a spirit it's mean he left body his body in the ground if you say he is there with his body and his spirit it's mean that Jesus have the spirit and the body both together living right now in heaven now the question is why jesus with his body is living in heaven to make it simple for you if you muslims believe that your soul will be judged and your soul is going to be punished now jesus his body and his soul together they are in heaven of islam because there is no punishment for him because he is the perfect person because simply his body don't carry sin. This is why he was capable to be in heaven directly without repentance or punishment. But you Muslims believe that every Muslim of you have to go to hell. And this is what the Quran says, save Jesus. And this is in chapter Maryam, which means the chapter of the mother of Jesus name. Huh? It says, 
not even one of you but shall come to it that is but shall enter hell and this is your muslim translation and this is the official government website of the kingdom of jordan so you muslims all of you will enter hell why because your body is dirty and your body is a sinner save jesus he is already in heaven he is above judgment for he is the judge and not only that your prophet he said that jesus is going to come as a judge a ruler justice and ruler this is the hadith according to your islamic book read with me abdul and laugh with me at your prophet exposing himself again by him who uh, 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 in whom uh, hands my soul rest who is speaking this is muhammad speaking about what speaking about jesus what he's saying here surely jesus son of maryam will soon descend amongst you and this is another a lie by the way because he said soon soon you know what soon mean go and read soon it have to be at maximum have to be a few years soon he would descend amongst you and he's talking to people in the present amongst you not amongst the muslims in general amongst you he's speaking to those who they are in front of him and will judge mankind in in what in a justice way he will be what he will be the judge of the mankind wait 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 is muhammad from the mankind yes we showed you in the video number one that muhammad is a sinner right so he will stand in front of jesus the judge of the mankind and this judge he have something you know about him something unique he is the justice judge he is not just a judge we have many judges but they can be even false and corrupt and even even if they are not corrupt even the best judge in the world he cannot be fair enough to give the perfect justice but jesus he is a judge who will come from heaven he is coming from heaven and he is the one who will judge mankind now, the rest of the Muslim, they will say he will do this, he will do that. It doesn't matter. What we care for is that the judge of mankind is Jesus the Christ, not Muhammad, which means Muhammad, Moses, all people, me, you, we will be standing in front of his majesty, the Almighty, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, and he will be the judge of mankind. So, when a Muslim is they speak, they are exposing themselves again and again can you comprehend god muslims for sure you cannot but you can comprehend allah because simply he is nothing but a joke he is just a bunch of fairy tale stories your god allah you reject him to be a man but i will show you that he is a man after we continue with this video watch carefully See, God gave us brains and God gave us logic, but I guess God wanted to... Oh, just, just watch, just watch. You know, when a Muslim speak about God, God gave us a brain and God gave us a logic, I like this. It is logic that if you do yawn in shaitan, he pee in your mouth. It's logic. It's logic that shaitan sleep in your nose. Hmm? It is logic that shaitan, he pee in your ears. It is logic, logic that shaitan take care of from your ass when you pray. It's logic that Allah will make your penis in this palm tree. It's logic that Allah will give you 70,000 little boys as slaves. Let me tell you something here. Uh, in the Jannah, there's a hadith. Because the Prophet said, you no know, authentic, authentic uh, hadith. He said, in Jannah, in the paradise, ma la ra'at. there is no such eyes can even see something like the jannah because no eyes can be seen and he is describing the jannah and the name of the video is description of the heaven and still they say nobody can describe heaven but the whole topic is describing heaven and let us see how they describe heaven and let us see the logic of this abdul when they speak about logic is that logic let us see this heaven and love together about the logic of muslims <laughs> not even the ears you cannot even hear about the true jannah because the jannah is beyond what you are hearing mm -hmm. 
خطر على قلب بشر ينقي بالإيمان you cannot even describe or or think what is see you can't describe before let me describe something beautiful about your castle your castle in the Jannah is something so beautiful your castle in the Jannah has four doors you enter from one door I like that I don't like to enter from four doors honestly I always enter my house from my garage. You see, I like this. I like it. Do we have a garage? <laughs> the castle have four doors. Look, look at those details, the silly details. And one door or one gate, your servants from all kinds of servants would come and enter to help you. You have 70,000 servants in the paradise, in that castle. 70,000. 70,000 70, little boys. And they speak about logic, by the way. Those boys, the Quran described them that they are, they look like pearls and they are so beautiful and they will never bleed, which means they will have sex with their asses. So the Muslims, they speak about logic, but they can't explain to us what kind of heaven, even slavery is exist there, because this is nothing but a slavery. Why those little boys, servants are going to be serving me in heaven? And by the way, the idea of serving me in the heaven is very silly, stupid, because later in this video, you will see that if you're Muslim, Muslims clothes will never get dirty. Muslim, Muslim, they will never do piss. They, they will never take a shower. They always smell good. Their clothes always will never be wrinkled. Your face, your hair always is looking good. So, and not only that, if you want to have a food, you look at the bird in the sky and you say a password and the bird will be in your dish. So what the servants for? You don't need a GPS. You don't need a map. You don't need anything. The angels will take your servants, will take you to your place in the gym. He was telling us that angels do not... You will find your house by yourself, imagine. And then he says, the angel will take you from your hand. You do not GPS. So what the GPS for if the guy is going to take me from my hand? Anyway, listen, listen, listen to this. And imagine with me here. The moment you enter with your right foot. Right foot, important. You will find your couches. Couches, we have couches in the heaven. Like, come on, we do you believe it? Those Arab, they dream always about couches. So Muhammad, he promised them couches in the heaven. You will see your couches like you are sitting in what? And you lay down, what you gonna see? You think? What you will see? You're gonna see the ceiling of your place. Are you, you, okay, just the ceiling of the place. What is the ceiling? Listen carefully. Your, your place in the Jannah, your castle, uh -huh. it is the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, so you will be sleeping under the ass of Allah. I like that. Part of the throne of Allah, and you look at the, how beautiful is that. Wow. And everybody relaxing, relaxing. And servants around you, servants, and, uh, and that is from and, and, and uh, is the bricks, the bricks, one brick of gold and one brick of silver. One, <laughs> what an ugly house! Who would I live in a house? One a brick of gold, one a brick of silver, and a Muslim speaking about logic, gold, one silver, <laughs> and 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 zephron, and uh, rubies, and diamond. Is <laughs> what is that, man? You know, this is the logic. What I will do with the ruby and the diamond in the heaven. You know, actually, this will be disgusting because you walk in the street, everything is shiny, hitting your eyes. You will not, you will not be enjoying it. I like to enjoy the grass. I would like to enjoy the green view, the beautiful view, the sand, not the rubies. You know, rubies can be something really unique because, because simply they are unique. If they are everywhere, nobody will grab them. So you see, he's trying to seduce them by money because this is evil. This is shaitan. This is Satan. One a brick of gold, one brick of silver. Who care about gold and silver there? What, what, why gold and silver is there exist anyway? Listen carefully. The floor. The floor. Imagine this. And the cups. The cups. Cup of silver, cup of gold. Everything, cup, everything. Silver and gold. Silver or gold. Silver or gold. And, and you have everything, the Jewish things you cannot even imagine. We Every, cannot even describe. Everything. Yes, we read in the Quran, we read in the Sunnah. But in reality, it is more beautiful, more than that. I mean, you things you cannot even imagine. Listen to this. I'm telling you. Whatever I describe, you know, for example, uh, you eat in the Jannah. There is a password. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the Jannah, there is a password. There is a what password. Is password? What okay. is that password? Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah, glory be to God. <laughs> That's it. For example, what is that You see in the tub a bird, a beautiful bird. You wish, only you wish. That bird is for you. That bird, you have like a roasted bird. You say, Subhanallah, you have it. Mm -hmm. Then you say, See, so what What the servants for? What What the servant for? You see that how we expose the lies of Muhammad? 70,000 servants doing what? 
You see a bird, you say, uh, uh, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, the bird will be barbecued in your dish. And not only that, after you finish, there's no bones. There's no dirt. Listen to this. So what are the servants for? Alhamdulillah. All thanks is to God. That's it. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah, oh, praise to God. Alhamdulillah, you have, it. you have it done. Just wish. Now, what would be the difference between eating here and then eating over there? Oh, oh. oh. In fact, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in, uh, in, in Surah uh, Al-Baqarah, uh -huh. the second chapter of Surah Al-Baqarah, right. when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, رُزْقُ مِنْهَا مِنْ رُزْقٍ Every time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you an apple, and then they give you an apple again. I say, هذا الرزقنا, هذا الذي رزقنا من قبل, that's what we just had it before. You have an apple. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is, looks an apple, but the taste is different. Yeah, it looks like an apple, but tastes like watermelon. You see, and the Muslim is speaking about logic. Look at your heaven and you will see how stupid dummy you are. Don't ever speak about logic, Muslims. You are the last one who can speak about logic. It is really amazing how deceived they are and they're trying to deceive you. So be aware of the deceivers. Follow with me with more videos and let us laugh more at Muhammad and his followers. Please feel free to download my videos. Spread them all over, wherever you like. Translate them to all languages, wherever you like. Just don't do anything, please. You can add subtitle, but don't do play with my words. Christ is Lord and Muslims are funny and they became a joke for everybody, including me. See you.